My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. Scientists discover most planet -y, planet X in the solar system. Holy mackerel. Take a look for yourself. Yeah, sort of spooky like. This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard. It's tough to find something when you don't know what you're looking for. That proves it. To what? Where? Why, uh, what? Come on, man, out with it. We haven't got all day to waste. Oh, uh, just... There's something out there. I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. Yeah, go ahead and color me tickled, darling. These headlines are blowing my mind, baby. Oh, and it feels good, yet it feels doomy and dangerous. What in Sam Fizzle Schnargle am I talking about? Well, inventing words. No, no, I'm not. I'm talking about Planet Nine and amazing new revelations. Planet Nine might not be alone. Astronomers suggest there could there could several hidden worlds in our solar system. Whoa! Uh, astronomers suggest there could several hidden worlds and there could you're missing a word there. Be or could or is this code? In January, Caltech astronomers predicted the existence of Planet Nine. Simulations explained the clumping behavior of a group of dwarf planets. I've covered this extensively. Way before Mike was covering it, man. I was covering it when Chad and Scott were on it. Trujillo and Shepard. They're the founders of this thingy. Let's give them some more credit and a round of applause. New study shows that these dwarf planets would not be as stable as thought. Interesting. Doesn't seem like anything in the solar system is as stable as it once was. Ain't that right? Maybe we should restore a little bit of balance. How does that sound and feel to you? Most stable scenario would be if there were more than one extra planet. Most stable scenario would be if there was more than one extra planet. That's an interesting sentence. Because you have multiple planets, you have multiple gravitational forces, tidal forces. They're separated. They're, they're not as deadly as one giant planet. They're, they're not as climate changing as one giant planet, I guess. I know. I'm not a scientist. I'm just a YouTube comedian. Enjoy my circus. Planet Nine is not alone. More planets predicting to be at the edge of the solar system. Man, is it annoying when you just go to a website and the ad just opens up and starts blaring? Which means I'm clicking off that site. I hope we got the title right. Right now, I'm over at the next big future reading another headline. New calculations suggest there could be not one, but three more new planets. Yeah, the P word planets in the solar system. One's going to be a super Earth, I guarantee you. Wait, where's the other one? The solar system could be harboring far more planets than we currently know about. Well, we knew about that. We knew that there could be up to billions of TNOs, KNOs, whatever. The solar system could be harboring far more planets than we currently know about. Astronomers have said, after carrying out calculations relating to the hy hypothetical planet 9, the scientists said presence of even more planets could better explain the unusual orbits of objects at the far reaches of the solar system getting closer. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Evidence for the existence of planet 9 was presented by Caltech scientists earlier this year. Yeah, it was also presented by Chad Trujillo, Scott Shepard before them. I don't know why people forget that. What are you guys, lazy? Scientists found six trans-Neptunian objects. That means objects that are go out farther than Neptune, I do believe. With highly unusual orbit paths, meaning off the basic elliptic, which isn't that basic, really. However, they said these paths could be explained by the presence of a massive planet with friends, the gravity of which was influencing the six objects. Since the announcement, scientists across the globe have been running computer simulations, masturbating, and carrying out research in a bid to learn more about this potential planet. Spanish astronomers Carlos and Raul de la Fuente Marcos, along with Severe J. Arseth from the University of Cambridge, have now looked more closely at the orbits of the ETNOs by trying to work out their evolution over time. The team said the orbits of these objects are not as stable as scientists first thought. What? I think we just moved their condition code up to an 11. It goes to 11. Alright, you're pissing me off.